and welcome to Screenplay, where we discuss everything pop culture, from music to movies and celebrities to comics. I'll be one of your hosts, Lexi Mozinski. And I'm your other host, Tony Robertson. Today we will be joined by our culture writers, Nick Micah, who will be talking about Beautiful Noise, and Paige Robinson, who will be talking about American Horror Story. We will then have a video from Alex Dreyer about Overwatch and its Halloween event. And finally, we will be joined by Dominica, who will be here to tell us about Season 7 of American Horror Story. So, Nick, why don't you tell us about your piece about Beautiful Noise? Yeah, of course. I was able to uh, go to a presentation by Mark Walter, who's the philosophy chair here, and he was essentially talking about his contribution to the topic of what is beauty and also what is noise. So he kind of put a, together this incredible presentation about um, he kind of pieced together different artworks and different uh, topics like sound noise, which is not music, but it's how artists bring pieces of noises together to make something that's supposed to spread a message. So he um, was able to talk to students and faculty along with the surrounding community about his contribution to that um, topic. So what did you think about the overall message of the presentation? How did you, how did you feel about it? It was interesting because I think in today's culture, in 2017, we're really wrapped up in this concept of beauty and what looks good, and he gave an interesting perspective on what beauty actually is compared to how we actually see it. So I, I found it very fascinating. It was a two-hour speech, but it was definitely worth sitting through. Very nice. Awesome. And we also have Paige Robinson, who's talking about American Horror Story. So obviously you've been watching this series for a very long time. Um, is there anything new or specific that you like about this new season or something that you don't really like? Yeah, so in the article I wanted to focus on the differences between this new season, season seven, and the past six seasons. And the one thing, or the two things that I mainly noticed were, that I talked about in the article, were the controversial theme, and which is uh, politics surrounding the 2016 election. So that was kind of a like the big blow up once they announced the theme of this new season like social media just kind of blew up about it the whole thing and you know I noticed that that could be something to write about so that's what I wanted to focus on and yeah it has been pretty controversial although um, the writers really did represent both sides pretty well you know they represent the Democratic and the Republican side too so it's not you know like it's not um, subjective in any sense they really play an objective role in that too so that's what I tried to focus on. That was one of the points. And the second point that I chose to focus on was that it was kind of slow moving. In the first three or four episodes, I noticed that, you know, nothing was really happening besides people were just getting scared in the same ways over and over again. So that's something I wanted to point out. Normally it's a little bit fast moving and it really wasn't in this season. Mm -hmm. And the two and a half points, the, the half point that I noticed is that Jessica Lang hasn't been in it for the last couple seasons. And that's something just me as a fan that I really miss. You know, I miss having her presence on the show. She brings such a strong role and we haven't seen that in the past couple seasons. So those are the two and a half points that I focused on. I could totally agree with you there. I miss Jessica Lang very much. Um, are there any like elements that you really like about it that are different from the previous seasons? Or do you have like a specific favorite season like to compare to cult? Or? Yeah, I think it's really relevant, obviously. You know, the election just happened almost a year ago. So the relevance is um, pretty abundant, I guess. And the different character roles, you know, they're always different every season. No one character is the same. And we always see um, Evan Peters and Sarah Paulson bring um, really amazing characters. And once again, they did that in this season. Yes, I can definitely agree with that. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you again for joining us today. Now we will take a look at our video segment for the week, which was produced by Alex Dreyer. His video segment features Overwatch, a class-based first-person shooter that is objective-oriented. Junkenstein's Revenge is this feature of their October update. that time of year again. It's time for another Overwatch Halloween update. Last year, we got several Halloween themed items, including skins, an arcade mode, and some sprays. A soldier. This year gives us over 50 new items, including several 
legendary skins, and some new sprays for Doomfist, Orisa, and Sombra. This year, the new mode added is Junkenstein's Revenge Endless. This version is basically the same mode, but, well, endless, and adds several new characters that you can choose from. These new characters include Widowmaker, Genji, Torbjorn, and Zenyatta. Other than that, there's not much else to say about this update. <laughs> so, go out there and have fun, and the event ends on November 1st. Welcome back everyone. I am here with Dominica to give a little bit of information about her. She's a communications major, a Pisces, and she likes long walks on the beach. She's a major fan of the American Horror Story series and she'll be talking a little bit about the recent uh, season of Cult. So give us a little <laughs> overview of what you think of the season so far. So, so far I really, really like it. I was super disappointed with the last season, so I do find it very interesting how they're bringing a whole political theme into it since their prior seasons weren't very much based on anything that's actually going on in the world. So I definitely find it very interesting. Um, characters are very awesome so far, so I'm impressed. Cool, awesome. What did you not really like about the last season that, like, there you was you no plot really? Um, I, I watched, totally agree. <laughs> I watched the whole entire thing, and still to this day, I'm not really sure where they were trying to go with the whole entire season. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I did not enjoy it whatsoever. So, so far, I'm very excited about this season. Um, everything that's happened so far is very interesting. Yeah, awesome. Like, do you have, like, a specific, like, favorite character or...? Um, I mean, all, every season, Evan Peters has obviously been my favorite. Um, he's a great actor. So he can play any role that's given to him very, very well. So I do enjoy him a lot. Um, I am disappointed that Jessica Lange or Kathy Bates is not in this season at all, so... Definitely have you know a lot to put up with now that they're gone. Yeah, and like I know there's a couple of the new characters like um, what is her name again? Ivy. Like I think she's a pretty mm -hmm. good actress. Like, do you yes. have any opinions about like any of the new actors and actresses that are on the show and what they contribute? And so like far, that? I think they're all great. Um, I can't have any complaints about bad acting or anything. So yeah, I think it's yeah. been really good too. I agree. Um, do you have any like? extra final thoughts about anything American Horror Story? Um, I mean, in the last episode, I want to spoil anything, but they did start bringing a whole view on feminism, so I feel like Ooh. they may go in that sort of route now, you know, kind of taken away from the whole elections that they have been talking about, so. Yeah, and that's still really political in itself. Oh, yeah, definitely. So that's going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. Just They're playing around with so many different, like, huge themes, and it's making such a statement, which I think is really amazing, mm -hmm. of, like, the show writers. So I, I'm really excited to see it. I still yeah. have to watch the next episode. No spoilers, yeah. but, yeah. It's no, definitely I'm, great. I'm excited, too. Yeah. So, awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> now it's time to move on to Screen Time, our regular segment of Screenplay. In this segment, pop culture topics will be chosen from our pool of submissions, and we'll have a short amount of time to talk about them, 60 seconds to be exact. When the time is up, the topic is thrown out. And then we move on to the next chosen submission. So, what do we got in this bad boy? Uh, let's You're see. definitely picking first. Oh boy, here we go, let's see what we got. What we got. Um, Tots on pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> <laughs> Anything pumpkin related is disgusting. Are, are you cracking out your Uggs and your, you know, your oh, flannels absolutely, and everything? Totally. I'm know? about to pop those bad boys on, <laughs> take my next trip to Starbucks, and like, can I get a pumpkin latte, please? Like, it's extra gonna be foam, great. extra whip, extra, extra whip, everything. Extra, you everything. know. <laughs> and I'm going to make pumpkin pie, and was it pumpkin seeds? Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to enjoy all of it, every little bit of it. I mean, I'm joking. I think all of it's terrible. I mean, I always see you drinking energy drinks. Like, <laughs> exactly. Do you even drink coffee or lattes or anything with foam on top? Like, <laughs> I mean, like if I had a pumpkin energy drink, just get rid of me right now. <laughs> <laughs> pumpkin energy drink, that would be an interesting. I, I don't know, man. I think you can make some money off that, maybe, with the fall season. Right, no one patent my idea, okay? <laughs> <laughs> He's got the pumpkin energy drinks, everybody. All right. All right, now it's my turn. Let's see. current binge-watching show. 
Oh my god, what have I been watching? I've been watching a lot of Van Helsing because, well, it's horror related and I love horror stuff and like blood and gore and vampires is my thing. Um, it's like a lot like Walking Dead, but like with vampires and it's all like post-apocalyptic and scary and all that awesome stuff. So like the second season just came out and like I recently like binge watched the first season because it was on Netflix and it was the best thing ever because it has like a really strong female lead character and I love characters like that. That's also why I love Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Awesome. Um, I don't know anything to compare to Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but that's just me. Do you like Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Absolutely. Oh my god, it's so good. I could talk about that all day long. Like, I could binge that again right now. Like, I will pull this up. <laughs> Alright, it's it. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Buffy the Vampire Slayer is the best thing ever. But, um, another show I've also been watching and binging is Winona Earp, which is about this demon slayer, and it's, like, all western-themed, and it's really cool. Also another strong female lead. You can see a theme here, me, demons, dark, kick-ass women, you know, all that kind of thing. So, um, that's probably what I've been looking the most at was binging. Mm -hmm. so, you want to pick off another one? Let's you think do I got this. room for all another right. one? Go ahead. Let's see. What do we got? Favorite superhero. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Um, I would say my favorite superhero, well, he's not technically a superhero, but more like an anti-hero. Is Constantine? Constantine is one of those, man, he's one of those, I'm gonna drink myself senseless, probably I'm gonna do something bad, but yet in the end I'm going to do what's good. So Constantine would definitely be my favorite superhero per se. Awesome, nice. Well, I think that concludes this episode of Screenplay. So join us again next time when we talk more about pop culture and things going on in the community. If you'd like to show your love for Screenplay or have suggestions for us, would like to be on the show, find us on Twitter at AU Spartan Media or tweet us using the hashtag, hashtag AU Screenplay. And a big thanks to our guests, Paige, Nick, and Dominica for being on the show today. And we are your hosts, Lexi and Tony. Until next time. <laughs>